hi sweeties how are you doing welcome to simnaya and thank you all so much for all the love and support hope you all are doing great so today i came across a video that i was like i am definitely sharing because there are some things you see you are asking yourself are they trying to come at black people indirectly or something but i am of the opinion that if you want to take a swipe at somebody or you want to shake somebody you should come out correct or come directly stop going through the corner because we don't understand it when you go through the corner it's really amazing how they undermine or degrade how hard black people worked uh, like you know to build like you know how america was built on black people their sweat and everything straight and all that and then somebody like you know got the the, the, the nerves to mount a stage to say that uh, they built this country right and it's really like super awesome that people are there watching him and it's amazing how they then turn out to say that they are being bullied they are being bullied by us or they are the ones bullying or because i mean i really do not understand it when they say that they are being bullied i really want to understand they should make me understand this so let me understand when you all build how you all founded the country and how you all built the country because i really do want to know you know you know what let's get into this white people founded this country <laughs> this country wouldn't exist without white people and white people are done being bullied it seems to me that there is a growing sentiment among certain white people that white people today in today's society are being bullied for being white my question is this is it really bullying is it truly bullying or or okay or could it be something that white people are feeling from the shift that's taken place where whiteness and white supremacy culture are being less centered and are actually being seen for exactly what they are and are being called out in the process. I think certain white people are feeling a certain sense of discomfort because just being perceived as a good person is no longer acceptable. And it's because the people, right, who have seen the truth behind this perception, this mask of I'm a good person, I'm a kind person, the people who who have seen the truth and seen the actual reality of who these people are behind the mask for generations now have an audible voice and we are exposing the reality of what we've been seeing the truth of what we've seen behind that i'm a good person persona so the whole i'm a good person i'm a nice person thing doesn't quite cut it anymore because when it gets down to the nitty-gritty it's not true you know as a whole white people haven't ever really had to face themselves and be held accountable for their problematic behaviors, beliefs, thoughts, being racism, homophobia, xenophobia, misogyny, anti-blackness, anti-indigeneity, just being an all-around shit human. Because for a time, that was acceptable. That was the norm. That was the cultural norm. The way that you were supposed to be for white people. And calling that out most certainly would be a social faux pas. You didn't do things like that, especially because white supremacy prioritizes the white right to comfort first, and self-examination is extremely uncomfortable, and that's why many avoid it altogether, and instead invoke the other pillar of white supremacy, defensiveness. You see, when the people who have been victims of the generational narcissistic abuse of people who subscribe to white supremacy culture finally get to speak out against it and be heard and make the call for it to come to an end can that really be called bullying if i was to come into your house throw all your stuff on the ground make fun of the stuff that you have in your home for having it and then steal some of that stuff and make money off of it for myself kill your family members laugh about it convince you and your children that you're not even human and that you deserve everything i'm doing to you set your entire house on fire and then i go and tell all of your neighbors about how much you deserved everything i did to you and i do this over and over and over and over and over and over and over again until finally one day you stand up and you say enough this is wrong i'm tired of it i'm not going to stand for it and i demand accountability and i demand change who's the one that's being bullied 
You or me? Hmm. Whiteness did not exist before the 1600s. People that we now classify as white did exist, but they were not called white. Whiteness was created during the transatlantic slave trade to justify the enslavement of African people. But before that, it was not a way you would have grouped people together. So if someone was referred to as white, it would have been solely talking about their skin color and not their race. Because we know race is not about skin color. Because this woman is just as white as this woman. So if people were referred to as white, it was not about race. Furthermore, it's important to remember that whiteness is a construct that is changing. So for example, Irish people were not always considered white. Here's a quote that I love from this Guardian article. If you asked an Englishman in the early part of the 17th century what color skin he had, he might very well have called it white. But the whiteness of his skin would have suggested no more suitable basis for a collective identity than the roundness of his nose or the baldness of his head. If you asked him to situate himself within the rapidly expanding borders of the known world, he would probably identify himself first and most naturally as an Englishman. If that category proved too narrow, if, say, he needed to describe what it was he had in common with the French and the Dutch that he did not share with Ottomans or Africans, he would most almost certainly call himself a Christian instead. So to summarize, no, white people were not white before the 1600s. Because plants were born to be green, humans were born to be black. That's science. That's not personal. You see, although a lot of folk, you may not like what I'm about to say, but this happens in nature all the time. We've seen it happen with gorillas. We've seen it happen with peacocks. We've seen it happen with roaches. We've seen it happen with plants. And that is that when you lose that nutrient, the ability to process melanin, you become albinoid. You, begin, you become deficient in that nutrient. The process of producing that molecule we call melanin. When you become deficient in that, nature demands that you make up for it somehow. And the way it helped the Africans survive in that ice age for thousands of years was to depigment the skin. But in so doing, they also took away a lot of the melanin content within, known as eumelanin, which became in them what we call pheomelanin. And so they come back down across, but they only mate with themselves. So what ha what's happening now is that a mutant is commingling with a mutant which is taking the product further and further away from the archetype of humanity. I'm not speaking in terms of domin a, 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 a superior and inferior. That's not the science of this. That's the emotion. The science of it basically drops the dominant gene and the recessive gene. And everything that black folk have is dominant. Complexion of skin, pigmentation of skin, pigmentation of eyes, curly hair, the body is melanated, it has a certain morphology or structure. That is how the creator said, this is what I want the human family to look like and that's how they'll survive on this earth. But no one took into account Africans going into an area that is going to be hit with an ice age. So this is all I got from this, and uh, it looks like some people actually wake up and they want to just be messy because I don't know if this is a joke saying that uh, palm colored people found out like you know built this nature or and all of that, and it's kind of funny, you know, and like you know what if, I just really do not understand if.
it's crazy really who is bullying you people nobody is bullying you i mean you all are the ones like doing the other way around and then you come out to cry wolf you can imagine people that have been out there doing the most and then coming out to say that like they are being bullied they build which country and all that how you guys really been for real and the rest of it it's just amazing how they wake up every day and they just want to be like you know they indirectly, sometimes they come directly, sometimes they indirectly come out to take a swipe on people and think that it's cool. Man, that is not cool. You all can stop and give us a break. And if you want to come out to probably like, you know, uh, come out correct, come out, let's know you're talking to us, stop going through the corner because I see some of them trying to cut corner, trying to talk to black people indirectly. We don't give a shit about Like we really do not care about all that anymore. Like come out and tell us that, you know, Come out, come out, tell us that you're talking to us, then we'll be ready and know what we want to tell you if we want to talk to you. But if we don't want to talk to you, I mean, nobody will even answer or respond to you at the same time, you know. But you all can just go and rest and stop all these gragra, all these things like, you know, come off on social media to do, trying to tell. We all know the truth. I mean, the history is all there. Nothing is hidden. And thank God African-American history is documented in a way that once you search it, you absolutely will find it. And uh, you see the truth. So all this you all come out to talk about and say it's just all jokes and joke on you all, you know? It's kind of crazy, but I am tired of seeing all this from them trying to like, you know, trying to, uh, you know, tell us that if you all are going to talk about this, you also will come out and talk about it. Enough is enough. Stop, stop already because you all are lying. You know the truth. You know the people that built the country. You all built that, that country off black people of their labor of their strength of their sweat of their everything and you want to come here to tell me stories see you all in my next video bye for now